Today, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about South Florida's weather. What's it really like? Is it as amazing as some say? Or is it a complete nightmare? Stay tuned. Hello everyone, Meryl Ibrahim here, Broker Associate with Coldwell Banker Realty in the beautiful Palm Beaches, Florida. If you've been here before, thank you and welcome back. If you're new to my channel and want to learn about lifestyles, communities and some real estate in South Florida, click on that subscribe button and bell so you'll be notified each time I make a new video. Enjoying the outdoors when choosing to move to South Florida is usually high on the list of how you expect to live and spend your time when you move here. You may have watched some of my other videos that highlights why people move to Florida and the weather is on that list of reasons why people choose to live here. And though Florida is often referred to as paradise, largely for its climate, there are some pretty serious issues with the weather that you, that you may want to consider before you decide to move here. So let's get started. Around the country, it is common for there to be a change in seasons. You can find a full display of what each season has to offer throughout the year in many states. And yes, there is something very appealing and organic about watching the transition from one season to the next and making those necessary adjustments around your home for what's coming. And while most states can dish out a pretty hot summer, it is short-lived and the greatest contrast in these areas is between their summer and their winter. This is the reason why so many of you come running to South Florida in the winter to thaw out. And so you decide that you want Florida's winter over your state's winter conditions. Can't blame you, but don't make any plans to move here before you have really tested the summer here in Florida. Why do I say that? Well, the weather is not perfect year round. Generally, it goes from hot to hotter, depending on the time of year. So please plan a visit to South Florida during July or August or even September to see if you really think it's paradise during those months. If you can't tolerate the heat during those months, then maybe you should shelf those moving plans. I moved to South Florida 40 years ago from London where it is consistently cold, grey and damp much of the year with lots of rain. So for me, Florida was a year-round vacation playground, but it still took quite a lot of getting used to during the first few years. But I can honestly say I don't miss the snow. And then of course the biggest challenge with Florida's weather is wrapping your head around the hurricane situation during the months of June through November. It can be very scary the first time and fortunately we have been lucky as there have been only a couple of really big hits in my 40 years of living here. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to be prepared and safe in your home during a hurricane. It's all about preparation. So here is what you must have in place to avoid a real disaster. Make sure you have shutters or impact windows and doors and a power generator because when there is a big hurricane and it will happen you don't want to be without power for days until it gets restored we do get considerable updates when there is a hurricane on the horizon and you can rest assured that if it is your first experience with hurricanes you can be prepared most floridians don't even pay much attention to the warnings until they hear the words cat 4 in the reports because they have their home in order they just need to make a few last minute preparations and stock up on various items like food, water, medications, etc. And always review your homeowner's insurance to make sure it is up to date. I'm not trying to scare you, but the truth is you need to know the good, the bad and the ugly when it comes to hurricanes. But honestly, the weather is very nice. And keep in mind that a year round outdoor lifestyle you've been longing for can be realized in Florida. Whether you're an active sports person, you enjoy golf, beach activities, fishing, boating, diving, and biking, and all kinds of water sports. So let's take a closer look at South Florida's weather month by month. In January, February, and March, these are the coolest months. The daytime temperatures are usually around the 70s and overnight it can dip into the 40s and 50s. So overnight it can get pretty chilly. 
If you have any delicate plants outside, it may be recommended that they are covered to make sure that they don't die from an overnight freeze. Then in April and May, the weather is just beautiful. The daytime temperatures are in the high 70s and low 80s, and overnight it gets into the 60s and maybe low 70s. After May, things start to warm up. June, July, and August, you can see a spike in the temperature that can go up to the high 80s and 90s during the day and overnight in the mid 70s. And it is humid. We are in the tropics after all. So at this time of the year, people spend a great deal of time in the air conditioning, whether it's in their home, their car, office, or wherever their day takes them. Or they may spend their day at the pool or the beach. If you own a home with a screened in patio and some shade, you may still opt to be inside during those afternoon peak temperatures. But in the mornings and evenings, you may find it pleasantly comfortable to sit outside. So fall, which is September, October, and November in South Florida, it is still pretty hot, but perhaps not quite as hot as the previous months. But there is no mistake, it is far from fall temperatures that are typical in other parts of the country. You can experience temperatures in the high 80s during the day and 70s overnight. Some people can handle Thanksgiving at the beach or outdoors, while others feel more comfortable staying inside while cooking their Thanksgiving dinner. And December can be very much like November, but these are typical temperatures and it can be warmer or cooler at any time. But one thing is for sure, you will never see snow in South Florida. So now you know what the weather is like in South Florida and what you could expect to get used to if you are still thinking of visiting. And as I mentioned earlier, I would recommend that you, the fall and the winter months are going to be lovely. But if you're thinking about moving to South Florida, try it in July and August. You will be able to see what you will be dealing with. And if you can tolerate the extreme heat, then this is for you. And you know the rest of the year will be paradise. If you liked this video, check out this one and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you'll be notified of my new videos. I put out a new video every single week so you don't want to miss them. Hope you're having a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!